Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. Doesn't get any better than... Uh, here it comes, legendary! Is he done? Oh, and he breaks free! But the damage might have already been done, Michael. He's just so dominant. Incredible striking combination. What a maneuver! Uh-oh. This just ain't gonna do it. He fights his way free. But how much energy did he exhaust fighting his way out? Can't imagine what this team has planned now. They've been dominating this matchup. We're about to find out. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. uh -oh. He's taking some offense. We all know, though, this guy has plenty of fight left in him. Oh, the beauty of tag team competition is that he doesn't need to take the entire brunt of the opposition's attack. Though the thought of making a tag uh-oh. Is he done? Oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. Showing off his vertical with that drop kick. Samoa Joe looking a little startled right now. Heading into this match, he and his partner look extremely confident. It's decision time, Cole. Does he try to get back on the offensive himself, or does he attempt to make a tag here? And there's the tag. Roman Reigns into the ring. Unleashing it for the second time now. What a leg drop. Comes up big there. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use? Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. What a move. It's all over here now. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. He's look at him with the kick. Here's his moment, Michael. Looking for all the glory here. The pin's broken up. I can't believe it. If an opponent exhibits a weakness for a specific move, some will return to utilize it. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. We may very well be seeing the finisher here very shortly, guys. And when that happens, you can bet this one's going to be over. You can't teach the type of tenacity we're witnessing here. Unreal. In off the tag. 
I'm with Corey. I suspect the finisher is on the horizon. And look at how impactful that move has been. Cover here. He kicks out before three. A huge kick out from the big dog. discovered his favorite move. Stop pulling a uh, leg snap! Uh, that's gonna hurt. Tear your hamstring. Oh boy, he is rolling. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE Locker Room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. What oh, Roman Reigns may have it. Looks like what a completely unbelievable move by Roman Reigns. There is no toppling the Roman Empire tonight. Oh boy, he is whoop. Superman punch! There is no toppling the Roman Empire tonight. Wow, that should be the final blow. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express a strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades. Here he goes. Kick. Oh my! But I don't know how much gas he has left, guys. You gotta think about using the finisher here pretty soon, I would think. Just pick up the win and move on. There's no need to keep this thing going longer than necessary. Look at this! An assault on Roman Reigns. Absolutely, he goes for the cover. Good point by Byron earlier. If there's an opening to execute the finisher, you got to take it. The last thing you want to do is let your opponent hang around for no reason. I can tell you, bad things happen when you do that. If you don't believe me? Just go back and watch Skip versus Barry Gordo. It's from 1995. I remember that like it was yesterday, Cole. Instead of putting Horowitz away, Skip thought it would be a good idea to big move. You have to think that's it. What an assault up had a plan and executed it. Oh boy, he is rolling. A spectacular maneuver. Going all the way up. Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. He's close to being done here. Look out! That was impressive. There's the pin. One. Oh boy, he is rolling. And he got a near fall out of it. Wow, I am impressed. Bill Pele kick, oh my. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Look at this. He's going back to an old friend with that one. Here we go. There it is, the Lama Stika. If that doesn't end it, I don't know what will. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems, and that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher, get the win, and get out of there. Another great tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. He's going for the pin. Anytime a superstar sees an opening for their finisher, they got to take it, as Byron was saying. Elongating the match not only gives your opponent an opportunity to get back in it, but you're also running the risk of injury anytime you're in the ring longer than you have to be. Yeah, but sometimes you just enjoy beating somebody up, especially if you're in the ring with somebody like Saxton. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. Incredible. This has to be it. That's what he was looking for. Superstar gonna do now. Uh -oh. Take a nap. 
Looks like he's starting to lose it here. What an incredible tag team contest. I can't remember a tag team match in recent memory that was even close to as good as that one was. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. I could watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. Here are your winners, the Spider-Man and Wade, the King of Old School, Wilson. A very impressive victory. They make it look so effortless in there. What an amazing duo.